What's up, y'all? So, I saw this thing on TikTok. Uh, well, really heard about it. Um, it's like this cloud bread stuff. It was relevant maybe like a week ago. I'm a little bit late on it, but it is what it is. Uh, I've never seen it on like my own For You page because mine looks like this. Man, you're tall. Can I dunk on you real quick? <laughs> so, yeah. And I'm gonna be making it without measurements. I'm gonna know what it takes to make it. It takes cornstarch, eggs, and sugar. And I'm probably gonna throw some vanilla in there too because I've heard it's not that sweet. But I don't know the measurements, but I, I had to know the ingredients so I at least can title the video Cloud Bread. So it's an attempt, at least an attempt at it. Um, because if I just try to guess, I would think like baking soda because that stuff makes it air. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so I'm gonna put y'all here, I get, get the ingredients. And uh, yeah. All right, so I got my stuff, got the sugar, the cornstarch, vanilla, and then the eggs. Um, I think I'm gonna just go with, let's see, let's go with two eggs. And then I'm gonna do a tablespoon of cornstarch and like a teaspoon of vanilla and like half a cup of sugar. Let's try that out. I'm gonna put y'all on this loaf of bread. So I took baking class in high school at like a college. Uh, so I kind of know maybe a little bit of something. Um, I'm expecting that we're just gonna use the whites from the eggs and whip them because that makes it really air. Let's see, so I got, what did I say? A tablespoon of cornstarch and a teaspoon of vanilla? I think so, and then I'm gonna get a half a cup. All right, got half a cup. So I think what we're gonna do is whip the whites and then add the sugar, I think. Is that what we did? <sighs> yeah, so I'm gonna whip them a little bit and then add the sugar and then, cause you don't wanna over whip it or else that's gonna screw it up. They'll be all clumpy and we don't want clumpy egg whites. Um, and then I guess fold, no, we fold it in the sugar. So you whip the whites, fold it. All right, I'm gonna grab a chair and do this. Um, so you want to crack your eggs on a flat surface or else the shell can get like, and they don't wash the shell. So yeah, and that's gross. And I wash my hands, um, so I'm just going to scoop the yolk out. Let's just take these out. Alright, got one chicken and two chickens. Yo, the feeling of throwing them in the trash was so weird. They just like slid off. Okay, so we got the whites. I'm gonna get the mixer uh, plugged in. I don't have like a stand mixer. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I don't really know I'm gonna record it. Maybe do like one hand action for a little bit and then just cut to when it's ready. Um, and then we'll fold stuff in and see how it goes from there. Uh, I'm gonna preheat the oven. I'm gonna put it at like, let's just go 350. All right, so I got the setup. I'm gonna just start it at one. And just do that, you know, just twist it and stuff and i'll be back with y'all when uh uh that's uh done all right so it's been like two minutes this is what it looks like uh it's kind of peaking but it's also kind of droopy uh but i also don't want to over mix it so i'm probably just gonna go for like 10 more seconds to see what's going on all right so that looks pretty good um yeah these are just egg whites it's kind of whack how this works you're inflating a chicken type thing so yeah that's that all right got the gingerbread house uh spatula on deck and I think I'm gonna just start with the sugar first. Well, actually, I don't see why I can't just throw it all in at once. I'm gonna just do that. Oh, nice, bro. It looked like... Oh! All right, so a tablespoon of cornstarch. I don't know what cornstarch does at all. I don't know the point of it. I already put the half a cup of sugar in there. It looked like quite a bit, but people said it wasn't sweet, so we're gonna make it at least taste decent. Uh, or else it'd just be a waste of time. All right, I'm gonna fold this all together. I gotta back up. I'm like... Six feet away. Okay, I'm gonna fold it all together. Yeah. Little update. Uh, this is kind of what it looks like right now. But I'm gonna add some food coloring. Uh, so hold up. All right. So all we have is red and green. So I'm gonna just go with red. Um, it's liquid food dye. So I think that can screw some stuff up. I'm not sure. But I want it to look nice. So I'm gonna put like that was like 80 drops 
Uh, so it is what it is. All right, so it looks a little bit more red. It's still a pink color um, through my eyes, but I don't think I whipped it enough, but if I whip it again, it like messes with the air and stuff like that. I think, I don't know, or else I would have just wasted my time folding it. So I'm gonna just put it in a thing and put it in the oven and see what happens. It's still airy, like from up here, it just looks like liquid, but it's, it's like, I mean, it's like, it has like some, see? So it's pretty airy still. Um, so yeah, I got it lined with parchment paper and uh, sprayed. So now let's just dump it in. Uh, this isn't clear, it's metal, so y'all can't really see what's going on, but hold up. Uh, let's, let's grab it like this. Okay. You know whenever you have a ready whip in a can and it like becomes unwhipped because it's been in the refrigerator for too long? It's like that. So it's kind of liquid, but it's still kind of like airy. All right, so it's like barely covering the bottom. So it might only get like this tall, but I have it in there um, for 10 minutes. All right, the timer just went off, so let's see what it looks like. Dude, wait. Yo, it actually got like all the way big. Hold up, wait. What? No, there's no way I did this right. Okay, it's still like crazy liquid, but dude, I don't, I'm scared it's gonna like fall out of the the thing. It's still like super liquid though. Um, I don't know if it's even gonna cook, but. <laughs> If I'm gonna put it back in, uh, let's do like five, five more minutes, um, because it was just in the air for a little bit, so that's gonna screw up the, uh, the puffiness a little, but, yeah. Five minutes, I'm gonna open this coffee and, uh, just see what comes, uh, from this. Freaking open, bro. We got, what is that? Seven seconds left, got my coffee, uh, let's see. Let me turn that off. Get the mitt on. Okay. Oh? Uh, I think... It might be good, like, for real. It's a little clumpy, but it's not, like, wet. Well, I mean, it's kind of wet. I'm gonna let it sit, and then we're gonna cut it open. And uh, just have it be like that. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's already deflating a lot. Uh, it was up the, like, all the way up there. But it's deflating a ton. I don't know if this hole is contributing to that. It probably is. But it's not going to be as fluffy as we thought it would. By the looks of it, I keep wanting to think it's going to taste like strawberry. But it's not going to. It's just going to taste like eggs. Um, hold up. So like it's airy a little bit, like it has the idea. The idea is there, but the execution is horrible. So yeah, I'm still gonna try it though. Not a lot, cause I don't know if the, the egg might still be raw and that's not the best thing to do. It tastes like wet French toast uh, with like powdered sugar on it, so. Yeah, if you want to make this, use a recipe. Um, but with that being said, thank you for watching. This is my first time doing a cooking video by myself and first time doing a cooking video in like a long time. So yeah, I kind of want to switch up what I'm doing around here. Kind of want to do a little bit of everything. So uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure to let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video.